Hey guys, it's Brooke. And for my video today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial with the 39L Hit The Lights palette. Today I went with this red glam because red is my favorite color, so I just had to. So if you want to see how I got this look, make sure you keep on watching. But before I get into it, I just want to say if you're new here, hello, I'm Brooke and welcome to my channel, however you may have found it. I post two videos a week mainly related to makeup, so if that's something that interests you, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now let's get right on into the tutorial. So as always, I have the rest of my makeup done and my eyelid primed. And I did just want to point out, we have a little visitor in today's video. She wanted to be in the room while I filmed today, so we're just gonna let it happen. If she's distracting, I'm sorry, but she's super cute and I'm not kicking her out. <laughs> so I think I'm going to try and do a pretty red toned look. I haven't dipped into this palette in a while, but I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. And I'm going to use this as a transition shade. Now once you have that laid down and blended out how you like it, I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush and dip into this corner shade right here, which is one of the brighter reds, and I'm going to put this in my crease. And once that red shade is laid down, I'm gonna grab the first brush again and use that to blend the two colors together. Once that is all blended together, I'm going to dip into this darkest red shade right here and put this in my outer corner in order to darken up the look. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the brush we were using from the first red shade and use the excess product on the brush to help blend out the colors. And then I will also be doing that with the first brush and dipping back into the brown shade a little bit to blend everything together. Once you have all of those three shades blended as you would like, you're gonna go ahead and do a half cut crease. So I'm just gonna take my P. Louise base. I already have a little bit on the back of my hand and a rounded brush and just go ahead and start priming the lid. I'm gonna cut all the way into my outer corner where I placed that third red shade to do kind of like a half cut crease type of look. Okay, so now that I have most of the crease cut, I'm going to take a flat brush and wet it with some of my setting spray because the shimmers in this palette aren't the best and I think a wet brush will really help the application. And I'm going to dip into the shade right here and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Now I'm just gonna pick up the brush that I used for the outer V, and I'm not gonna pick up any additional product yet, but I'm just gonna use that brush to blend those two shades together. So the next step that I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to apply winged eyeliner. I'm going to be using the House Laboratories liner. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that off camera, and then I'll be back to show you how I finish up the underneath part of the eye. So I finished up the eyeliner and usually at this point I pop on some lashes before I continue on but my eyes have been super sensitive to lashes lately so I'm just going to wait until the very end to throw those on both eyes. So for the underneath part of the eye I'm going to dip into this dark brownish reddish shade right here on a flat brush and I'm going to stamp this along my waterline. So I don't want the underneath part of my eye to be super red because that can kind of make you look sickly. So I'm going to dip into the lightest red shade that I had, just so the littlest bit. And then I'm also going to dip into the transition shade that I used in the beginning over that on the same brush. And I'm gonna tap off the excess and then use that to blend out the underneath part of the eye. Now just to finish up the look with some highlight, I'm going to take a small rounded brush and I'm going to wet it a little bit. And then I'm going to dip into this highlight shade on the end. And I'm going to put this shade in my inner corner as well as my brow bone. So 
now I'm just gonna hop off camera and do my other eye and add some lashes and then finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, so here's the totally finished makeup look. I absolutely love how the look came out and it's exactly what I was going for. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial or if you followed along at all, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.